Welcome back. We have Chef Ryan Donnelly joining us from Chances Casino on this Wednesday. How are you doing? Great. How are you doing? Good. We are making a delicious sirloin lamb, uh, lamb sirloin rather, with ratatouille. Yes, we are. Um, tell me about this. Um, so it's kind of a Mediterranean-inspired dish going into um, fall, winter area. Um, looking at something a little more heartier, kind of really fill you up, feel great in the stomach. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the inspiration for it. So what is a ratatouille? That was the name of a movie that my kids loved. It's a I never great make it, movie. so I don't know. It is a good movie. Do you um, have kids? Uh, yes, I do. So you've seen it. Yes, of course I have. Yeah. Saw it before the kids, actually, but anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, it is a vegetable stew uh, from the Provence region, I believe, in France. Uh, very traditional during that time, late harvest. So you're looking at zucchinis, eggplants, uh, late harvest of uh, tomatoes, peppers. Uh, and then it's kind of just stewed together nice and slow. Lots of fall flavors, great thyme and herbs and stuff mm -hmm. in it. Um, so very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, great dish uh, either by itself or as an accompaniment kind of thing. Sure. Could you put meat into a ratatouille as well if you wanted or no? It's supposed to be veggies. It's supposed to be a vegetable dish. Okay. Um, you can't, it's, like I said, it's a great side dish. Um, I love to make it, especially actually my kids surprisingly enough eat it, uh, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just lots of flavor. Um, and it goes almost with anything, chicken, mm -hmm. salmon, lamb, anything you want, it'll go with. This is hot, I was going to tip it up for the, <laughs> I'm not going to burn off my finger, but there's there the, uh, there's the lamb one? that we're cooking up. Bill O'Donovan is salivating right yeah, now. He's in the hiding up there, waiting his turn. He I'm is. Sure. Bill, we know you're watching. Of course. Um, so we're just taking the lamb here, nice hot pan, we're just going to sear it off. Uh, and then we're going to roast it in the oven. Mm -hmm. So we're just getting it all nice and hot. So you always sear both sides just to lock in the juices? And uh, yeah, just to lock in the juices, kind of sear off some of the sugars that are in the meat, uh, kind of provide a little bit of natural sweetness. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to get that go on both sides. I usually just turn it over, and then I'll fire it into about a 400-degree oven mm -hmm. and kind of let that roast. On average, you're looking at about 20 minutes. Okay. Um, for a nice medium, which is usually generally where I like my lamb. Okay. I'm not too much on the medium rare side. I find it's... Uh, kind of chewy at that point, actually. Yeah, uh, do you <laughs> do you find a lot of people like their lamb rare? I'm not that girl um, myself. Actually, but. you know, a lot of people don't ask, but mm -hmm. you get a lot of medium rare, medium kind of. That's where the flavors really kind of come mm -hmm. together. I find that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, good. So yeah. Okay, so what else do we have going on? We're gonna let that cook for a bit. So we have that going again. Here we have the ratatouille. We've I've just been slowly letting that heat up. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great dish. You can kind of make it in a little batch cooking, um, and you can also just kind of reheat it as you need it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's great that way. You can do anything with your zucchinis. You can grill them off beforehand if you wanted the barbecue, add a little bit of different flavor and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, great herbs are rosemary and thyme, definitely some salt and pepper, and it's just, just a nice slow cook. Awesome. We still have a full four and a half minutes, so we're that's, not in any rush. Oh, geez, that's so quick. I have stuff slowly going in the oven, too. Oh, so. okay. Um, and then this is going to go with uh, a lemon braised potato. So, mm -hmm. again, we kind of kept that Greek Mediterranean uh, idea. Yeah. Uh, so we take our potatoes, we make like a lemon juice concentrate, um, and then we kind of slowly hot sear them in the oven and then we put the liquid on and we slowly braise them nice so they're really nice and tender mm -hmm. i have those uh, i put those on ahead of time to make sure they're ready to go mm -hmm. when does your menu switch over or has it for uh, we just did last week yeah um so we switched over half our on uh, basically half the menu changed over for a seasonal fare very nice so we've uh switched over i remember last time i was here actually a while ago i was here i did like a, a steak flatbread mm -hmm. so we've added that to the menu now so very you can nice. get that um the lamb we switched up more into this kind of fall winter uh, mentality we've added salmon to the menu uh, mussels as well. I mm -hmm. uh, kind of did a revamp on some of our takes for appetizers. Delicious. Yeah. Incorporating all those fall flavors. Trying to make it a little heartier, kind of uh, let people, you know, come in and they want that, you know, warming meals now. Absolutely. That we're getting into that time of year. Yeah. So. Fast forward 20 minutes. Fast forward 20 minutes. So we've got a nice guy here. We're just going to let him kind of rest off a little bit. Sure. Take off some of these pan juices here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take a little bit, just a touch of white wine. Nope, that's oil. Never mind. I was going to say, that is a that's, thick white. That's a thick but white. that's okay. That's, that's something right. I would do. <laughs> we like the mistakes, right? That's right. They're allowed. So there we go. Just a touch of white wine. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to loosen up a bit of the sauce in the pan here. Mm -hmm. I said that guy's kind of going, so he's good. I'll put him up top there. And then uh, with this, we were accompanying it with a nice little um, mint-infused demi. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we've taken our natural demi glass, which is basically a, a veal stock kind of reduced down, very full of flavor. And we've infused a bit of mint into it. Okay. Kind of give everybody, like I said, mint jelly with their lamb. Mm. So it's just kind of a, another play and take on that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna kind of warm that up nice and slow. I've never been a mint jelly person. Neither have I. Yeah, just not it's my sort thing. of old school, right? It is, but you know, there's, uh, it has its purpose yep. and it's from the old days. Yep. Um, and people still love it. Yep, some people um, do, for sure. So it's kind of a, it, it provides a bit of refreshing, especially with lamb, which can be very strong. Mm -hmm. And it can kind of pair very well with it. It sure. has a natural sweetness to it, which right. goes well with lamb. Right. So we're just gonna let that slowly warm up there. I'll pull the potatoes out as well. And these are a lemon potato. And these are a lemon potato, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. So we've just, uh, all I've done is taken them and put them in the oven, put a little bit of color on them, roasted them up a bit. Mm -hmm. So those are getting nice and hot. They look delightful. So we'll just kind of do a little quick plate here. Mm -hmm. Try and get it plated and let you still have some wine. <laughs> you know me so well. I know. Well, I'm just I it's just, wine. <laughs> it's, it's just not the same if you don't pair oh, it with dear. something, right? Whether yes, it's true. with the holidays and whatnot. Mm. So. Uh, Didier, our sommelier, has uh, recommended going with, uh, we have a Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky out of the mm -hmm. Okanagan. And how is that? I haven't tried it. I've seen it in the liquor stores. Uh, I wonder how it is. Uh, it's a very good wine as far as, you know, when you're looking at wines for price points. Sure. Um, it's got a nice sweetness, yet still got a bit of full body. It is a blended wine. Mm -hmm. um, so he says uh, it would be a great, when you're looking at, everybody looks at price values and yep. stuff. It's a great, uh, kind of pairs with a couple things. It'll go nice with the lamb, really pair with the sweetness off the dish. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why he recommends this. But he would also recommend a fuller bodied wine, uh, Cab Franc, that kind of idea too. Never a white with lamb, generally no, red. No, generally, yeah, yeah. red meat, yep. uh, red wine. Yep. Always pairs well, nice full body. Sure. So we're gonna take the lamb here. Get her cut up. See if I've done my job well. Oh, yes, you have. Look at that. Beautiful. Do you have to cut with the grain? Uh, I slice against the grain. Against. Jimmy. I don't know these things. So we've come out just nice and medium. Medium more, a little more on the medium well. Mm -hmm. Take these guys here, kind of fan them all out. Kind of just set him up on top. Mm -hmm. Nice presentation. Right, and get that there. Oh yeah, kind of hiding everything on. That's all right. That's allowed. And then just a little bit of our mint sauce here. So that has mint in it. Yeah. So we just slowly infuse it with uh, just fresh mint. Beautiful. As simple as that, and it just kind of lingers there. I might like this kind of mint sauce. That looks pretty good. Yeah. So nice. Again, you get your nice full flavor from the lamb and mm -hmm. the and the and the jus, and then just a, oddly enough, just a little color on the plate there. Beautiful, that looks great. So that's our, our new fall lamb dish. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, you can set it over here if you want. I'm sure, sure Marcel can get a close up. There we go. Excellent, so new menus out. Uh, we've got about a minute. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, no, we still have run our, our promotions that we have. We have wing nights. Uh, tonight we have two can dine night, uh, past the features. Um, tomorrow is prime rib. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately for the winter, we've taken off our smokehouse menu. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe we're still offering the half price bottles of wine on Saturday. So. Fun, that's fun. Um, we do still have smokehouse items on our menu. We still have smoked rack ribs. We still have a smoked brisket sandwich mm -hmm. um, that are available all the, all the time. Um, and yeah, those kind of things. We always have live music coming up. Um, can't remember who we have playing this week, um, but again, always a great time. Lots of entertainment. Yeah, Wednesday, awesome. Wednesday night we have Jim Cochran and friends for jam night. So if you want to come in and have a jam with him and uh, do a set, uh, everybody's more than welcome to get up on stage. Awesome. So yeah. Fantastic, Ryan, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes, this is the lamb sirloin with ratatouille and lemon potato. Uh, looking delicious, pair it with a gorgeous red. If you'd like to make a reservation or learn more about Chances, information on the screen, chanceskamloops.com. We'll be back after a quick break, stay with us.